Okay, what's up guys, it's uh, Turner here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you use and install player vaults uh, for Bucket 1.7.5, well, Minecraft, whatever, it'll work on uh, 1.7.2, Craft Bucket, uh, it'll work on the most latest version. Uh, pretty much what player vault is, is you can get player vaults, which is like a chest, so if you type slash PV or slash vault, uh, some of the aliases are down here, um, where are they at, uh, right here. It will basically open up a chest that only they can access. Uh, so if you're playing maybe a survival server and you want to give maybe somebody uh, access to one chest and then maybe make like a donation feature to access more, you can donate. Uh, you could do that. If you just want to have people to be able to have certain uh, numbers of chests, you can do that. Um, they can open up a mobile workbench. I know they were talking about making a mobile furnace as well, uh, but that's not implemented yet. And you could just add, there's a little bit, there's some sign um, usage as well. Uh, so anyway, you can do, um, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, right, so pretty much all you're going to need to do is download um, the build. So, dun -dun -dun. if it will download, let's reload. There we go, I was like, huh. Great. So just go to your Minecraft plugin folder. So mine is under servers, uh, my MCPT tutorial, plugins, and you're just going to save it right in there. Um, so admins also have control over the whole vault, so they can delete or edit or access anybody's vault, whether they're online or offline. So that is a very good feature. I do like that a lot. Um, but anyway, we're going to start the server after you have it installed. Or downloaded and there we go it'll say player vaults enabling version whatever version they have and they didn't find any update so then you can just uh, save all and we'll see if there's any configuration so plugins player vaults it will show the whatever the vaults in there you can go to the config I use notepad plus uh, plus and you can make it like economy integrated if you would like. Um, if you want it, uh, check update is if you start your server, it will say like no update found. You can either disable that or enable that. Um, I assume if it if there is an update, it will either automatically download it or just tell you on the server, which is very helpful. Uh, you can add also uh, add economy sort of support, which means if you wanted to make it uh, to create one or to open it. Um, you can make it cost money so like say you you can make it so if you if you want economy you would have to enable it right here and say you're on like a, a prison server and you want to make it you want them to have a vault but you don't want them to just be open it and store all the stuff in it you can make like you can make it to create a vault like depending on your currency you can make it like a thousand dollars and then maybe the cost to open it you could do maybe a hundred dollars each time you open it uh, again depending on how much money you get or what your currency is uh, all what the server owner wants and then how much they are refunded upon deletion of the uh, vault, which is um, right there. You can just edit. So if, if I wanted this to be a thousand, I just put an extra zero. If this would be a hundred, I could do that. And refund deletion, I could just put a hundred as well. Um, so also there is another feature of cleanup, which means basically it will clear the vault of anybody. Um, if who has not been on in a long time so this is it's set right now to false which I mean I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't enable this but if you if you did want a feature like this or a faction server you could and basically it's in the number of days so this is this is at right now it's saying in 30 days if this person has not used it then it will be deleted um, yeah so it'll basically clean it up and disable it uh, so let me just close all of this so there's that, um, the language files, if you're a different language, so if you, uh, if you have like a, I don't know, like a Chinese server or a Dutch or uh, Spanish, you can edit the, what it says right here, so you can edit the title name, player vaults, you can edit everything if it happens, so like refund that, so if you're Spanish or something, or Dutch, you can change that to make more sense, um, and the signs. 
this will just list I just open it to show you this will just list all the signs that are will have be will be made like if you make a sign which I'll show you in a bit uh but anyway so let me we're done with the configuration that's all you need uh, to allow somebody to use um the chest you need to give them a permission and I will leave a link to the permissions page in the description but you just need the player vaults dot amount dot and then how many you want so if you want them to have two you just put two if you want them to have three put three um you can also change the size of the vaults and then if they can use some signs uh to use it and they can also get a uh yeah they can also do a mobile workbench as well which i believe essentials has but that's a nice little feature if you're not using essentials dun 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 really fun server um, join Okay, so here we go. Here's here's the server I'm in. The pig. So say I kill this pig. Dun 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 dun. Die already. Okay, he dropped me some pork chops. I don't want to. I only have uh, one and a half hearts, so I don't want to die with these pork chops, even though I could eat them. I don't want to do that. So I would type slash. Uh, you could do PV, and then your number. So PV one will open my vault, or I can do uh, vault one it'll open my vault so i want to put i want to put all my stuff in there i don't want to lose anything um so there's that's in my vault so now i'm, I'm walking around um there's another pig in that tree over there um let's go up here oh no i'm getting shot at skeleton i fall down here i accidentally up if, if he help he hit me up i'm getting up oh and i die um <laughs> then look i spawn i spawn now i can type slash vault one and i still have all my stuff so now i can get it all out again I can go start chopping down some trees and build my house as I always wanted to in Minecraft. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much what this plugin does. You can store your, you can store items in a vault. You can actually, you can also change the vault size. So uh, if I do slash vault, uh, vault one, or slash uh, PV player vault, or you can do is, you can do slash PV slash chest slash player vault or slash vault, uh, then the number to open up that vault. So. You can actually, you can also change uh, the number of rows um, that is listed. The default is six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. If you wanted five, you just put the permission for five, and they would only have five. So this whole this whole row up here would be cut off, and then four and so on. You would do that, um, but you can do that if you wanted to. Oh, get out of here, skeleton. So that will, there's Skype. Uh, you can set the number of, get out of here. Get out of here, you little fucking. <clears throat> Come here. There we go. Let's go dig a hole. You can set the number of vaults you want to. You can set, um, oh, uh, let's go, let's go game, GMC. Slash. I forgot I don't have it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to cut that out. Okay, um, so anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, you will have, uh, you can do, um, I'm sorry, I'm not sure. you can actually also do sign. So if I clear my inventory, uh, sign, and say my spawn is up here. So this is my spawn up in, on top of this tree. Say over here I have a little wall and I want to make it so somebody can, if they have a vault, they can access their vault. Uh, so let's just do, you can have anything you want. So access vault. Vault. I can't even spell vault, my bad. Vault number one. So there we go. We'll just say that. Then the command you can run is slash PV sign one. And now we click a sign. Shh. I did not just do that. So do it again. Uh. Vault. <laughs> uh, vault. Vault. There we go. So now, if I run that command again, I click it. You must click a sign. Oh shit! My bad. Uh, 
There we go. So now. So, okay, guys. That was a retarded mistake by me. So I'll do it again to show you if you don't know. So, my slash. Give magic man out to sign one. Okay. So, here, pretty much the only thing I did is, okay. <laughs> so, you make your sign say whatever you want. So, text. And then you do um, slash PV. Uh, sign space one or you could do two even and then you don't left click as I was you right click and then it will set it to the player vault access sign and then you right click and it will access that vault use number you specified uh, so that was a retarded mistake by me I'm sorry um, but that is how you do that so you can also do slash workbench and it'll open a workbench for you so I can craft my piece of obsidian but yeah, that's pretty much it for this server, or this server, uh, this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll have lots more content coming out soon. Also, I will be doing lots of streaming, um, which I haven't really told anybody about yet, but I will, that will be happening as well. Plus, we have big, 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 big news for the server. I just heard my mom yell, so I stopped for a second. Uh, she's not yelling at me, though. So, anybody, uh, thank you for watching, and enjoy your lovely fucking day. Oh, there we go. There's some, there's some pissed off people. Okay. I think he's playing some music too loud. Let's see what happens. Oh. Okay, well that's that's not interesting, but thank you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.